Last month marked the 50th anniversary of 1963's March on Washington. And as Steve Halk reports, the impact of that event still resounds loudly today. Montgomery College African American History Professor Alonzo Smith was 20 years old and living in D.C. when the first March on Washington took place back in 1963. He's acutely aware of the march's huge importance in the history of civil rights. 1963 was a really kind of a turning point year in the whole civil rights movement because it really marked uh, a time when the civil rights movement was really thrust into national prominence. Susan Andrews, a retired Montgomery County librarian who attended last week's 50th anniversary celebration of the march, participated in the 1963 march, also as a 20-year-old D.C. college student. I was a student at then D.C. Teachers College, right, and a lot, which was on Howard University's campus, mm -hmm. and so throngs of us came. We just came because Dr. King was going to be here and all of that, and it was awesome. Professor Smith also attended some of last week's anniversary ceremonies and noticed a much wider cross-section of issues represented than just the civil rights focus of 1963. There were groups of people who were talking about uh, health care. That was another big thing. Um, health care is a, is a basic right. There were people who were talking about same-sex marriage. Um, there were people who were very much concerned with the war in the Middle East. Um, there were people who were concerned about the environment. So there was a wider range of different kinds of issues, but they were all centered around a broader participatory society. Both Susan Andrews and Professor Smith acknowledge that even though there is still work to be done, things have come a long way since the 1963 march. But for Professor Smith, it's most important to recognize how activism has played such an important role in the progress. In congratulating ourselves on how far we've come, we recognize the value of activism and community organization, and we recognize the value of pushing. And the more you push, the better it gets. For County Report This Week in Rockville, this is Steve Houck.